Hi, Stephen Box. So, on today's episode, we're going to be making some cod fish cakes. With those fish cakes, we're going to spice them up a little bit. So, we're also going to do some grilled vegetables. Getting enough vegetables into your diet is absolutely crucial for looking for long-term health, making you feel full and getting plenty of fibre in. So I'm going to show you some really quick, easy ways which are tasty and so simple to cook that you have no excuse not to glue them. Now, what we've got here is a griddle pan. I've got it onto the heat and we're just going to put on four corn on the cobs. We're going to turn these every couple of minutes and they'll get that, that nice char grilled effect um, and with this we're then going to put on some mushrooms we'll do those slightly after because they don't take quite so long um, and we've got some nice sweet peppers here so literally in half and that can go in and again we'll just keep turning those every couple of minutes just to get that nice char grilled effect while they're on and they're probably going to take you know 10 to 15 minutes we can start making on the fish cakes. So to make your fish cakes, you're gonna need some sort of bowl, and today I went for cod, you could use haddock, you could use a mixed fish recipe, um, whatever you kind of want really, salmon would work as well. So we've just got about 900 grams here of fish, and that's all just gonna go in the bowl. Garlic, so about two crushed worths of cloves are gonna go in. We've got one shallot, just for that little bit of a, uh, flavouring, we've got some sea salt and I've got some smoked paprika just to give that a little bit of spice but also that kind of smoky flavour which is going to come through within those fish cakes. Now what we're going to do is put some parsley in there. Just take the bunch, chop the ends off, small as you can. Don't get worried about being too neat, just get enough in and it's just about adding some of those flavours to come through in the cod as well. So once you've done all that, we're going to bind this together with some egg whites and one whole egg. That should be enough just for a little bit of fat, um, but those egg whites are going to serve to bind it. And we've also got some, some oats to give it that nice crispy taste. So I've got the parsley, I've got the chives, I've got the salt, the pepper, and then what we're going to add in is the oats. So I've got about 80 grams worth or a cup's worth of oats here, so that's going to go on in. And I'll just save the rest just in case I don't want to use it all. And then time to mix up your egg. So before it goes into the pan though, I'm just going to put this into a little mix. Got the egg whites, I went for 100 grams with a whole egg and that's just going to go in our mix. Now this is where you've got to make sure you've got nice clean hands. Don't be afraid, just get stuck in and we're just going to start to combine, tear that fish up and really start to work it all in together so you're going to get these nice chunky bits of fish with the, uh, with the paprika and the salt and the chives. So once you've mixed everything together, just pull apart that fish and it might take you a little bit of time depending on obviously how much you use. A little squeeze of le um, lemon or you could use lime depending on whatever you prefer. That's going to go in there. Now, ideally, you have a food processor, okay, and you're just going to take that fish, which is all mashed up together with those oats in, and don't fill it all the way up, because otherwise it's going to stick and not get very fine. Um, and again, because I'm batch cooking, I'm making a lot of these for tomorrow or the day after, I'm using quite a lot. But also, if you've got a larger food processor, the easier the job this is going to be. So, you don't want to completely blend this until it's a liquid. Okay, after about 10 minutes, you should see that your um, corn on the cobs are crackling and popping, which is fantastic. So we're just going to take those off, um, and what we're going to then start to do is base our fish mix, okay? And all I've got here is a dish full of oats, and I've got 100 grams, so I'll do that every single time. Really, really simple. I'm going to mash this into a ball. So if you've got kids, this could be a fantastic way of getting them involved within the kitchen and get, you know, the kids love to get messy. So, so you just make it into that ball and then just squidge them down. And another great way of getting more fish 
into your diet or to your children's diet because fish I know can be one of those tricky things that they don't like to eat but if they kind of help make the food then people are generally much more keen to give things a try and those egg whites from earlier will serve as that nice sort of binder which will be fantastic so what we've got here we've got our two pans of all the fish cakes and you'll start to see they'll start to go this nice golden brown colour. So we used about 15 grams of olive oil um, and we tried coconut oil in this one. I'll be able to see which kind of flavour is the best. Uh, but when they've got that golden brown colour, they're kind of done. So I'm just going to pop my mushrooms in. Leave those for a few minutes and you'll kind of see what we do with those at the end. So fish cakes are cooked, the peppers, the corn on the cob, and the mushrooms are finished. So we just put that together and I've put a little bit of low fat Philadelphia right in between the mushrooms and the fish cake. Fish, mushrooms, that low fat spread is going to be absolutely delightful. Just seasoned that off with some sea salt, but fantastic recipe and I can't wait to get stuck in.